Hi, I'm Scott Hyman, Managing Director of Hyman Habitat. Environmental scientist, bushcraft and survival expert. We've been up here in the Tindaria Ranges doing a spot of trout fishing, but the weather's turned and it's time to go. The camp's all packed up, but we're not quite ready just yet. Remote area operating industries such as Defence and the Mining, they have a thing called the First Parade and a Vehicle Checklist. So follow me now as we quickly go around to make sure everything is good to go. When was the last time you picked up this bad boy? Now ask yourself a different question, how many times have you heard stories of wheels coming off and chasing the vehicle down the road and indeed overtaking them? That's because people haven't checked their wheel nuts. This is particularly important after you've had a flat and you've changed over the spare. About 10 kilometres down the road you need to get out and check each one of them. Then after that, put this back on and to save yourself some time, get yourself some wheel nut indicators put it over the wheel nut and then it's a simple walk around to check to see if they've moved. Specific to caravans and camper trailers are your balancing arms. Can you imagine how embarrassing it would be if you started driving without having to put these bad boys up? You'd cost yourself a fair bit of money and some structural damage to your rig. The Echo 4x4 Cavango comes with its own checklist which is a beauty so it's now our responsibility to follow it. One of the biggest ones is making sure that everything that closes is shut Everything that's locked is locked, and then you're good to go. One specific item is the latches for your pop top, if you have one. After all, how many times have we seen people up against the side of the highway with their pop top where the top has popped off? Alright, we're down here at the hitch. There's a lot of things to remember here. A lot of people forget to take off the handbrake and you find out about 10, 20 metres down the road or even worse when you get home. Making sure that your jockey wheel is up is a big one. But don't forget about the wires when you stop for a coffee or 10 kilometres down the road when you're checking on your roof racks to make sure that your load hasn't shifted. Check down here again to make sure a stick hasn't come up and ripped these bad boys out. When was the last time you actually got underneath your rig and checked the tyre pressure of your spare tyre? Whilst you're under here you can check the side walls of your tyres as well to make sure that they're all still good to go. You can get underneath it halfway through and have a look at the muffler. See if there's any dry grass bound up around the muffler and caught up there. That'll start a fire. Also have a look to see if you've got any fencing material, barbed wire, now binding up as you're driving along. So now's the time to check before it actually becomes a problem. Before you even turn on the ignition, one thing you've got to do is check under the bonnet. Sounds logical, but a lot of people don't do that. Obviously, you've got your coolant, your washer fluid, your power steering, and all your connections to make sure that they're all nice and tight. But here in Australia, in the lovely bush, we've got rats and snakes. Rats love chewing on wires, so have a good little inspection of that to make sure that they've not made a nest in your engine bay. That could cause a fire later on, halfway home. Or indeed, if there's a snake in here, that can dislodge your fan belt. And by the time you get halfway home, you've overheated your engine. Before we start the engine, safety first, click clack front and back. But whilst we're in here, we've got to check everything that turns on, flashes, beeps and swishes. Go to the accessory function, there's a diagnostic check for the water watch, checking to see if there's any water inside the fuel. As we turn on, we're also checking for all the lights to make sure any of the warning lights are coming on, and we're checking for our fuel. Indicators, wipers and all these sorts of things might seem mundane to check the wipers, but that could give you an indication that there's something wrong with the wiring under the bonnet. So we've covered the fundamental basics of a first parade or a vehicle checklist. Look for the tearaway component in Camper Trailer Australia magazine. <laughs>